Hi guys and welcome back to Nail Tech Secrets. I'm Ali Evans and I'm going to be your host today and today we're going to be talking through the stages of doing an ombre nail which will include laying your colour, laying your nude, capping it in clear and then I've put some finished filing at the end so you can see that seamless blend coming together. So I've already laid the blue up two thirds of the nail trying to make sure the end is feathered out so the so blend is soft and easily covered by the nude. And I'm going back into my blue and adding a little bit more at the tip which I'll be fading up the nail. I'm using longer strokes there to make sure that that entire area is covered and the saturation is good. I'm also bringing it slightly over the end again just to soften up that blend where the blue ends and the nude will begin. If you're enjoying what you see so far, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button for more. Um, we'll be uploading hopefully weekly, so you'll see much more of this kind of content going forward. Again, back in, doing the same step again, laying acrylic up the first two thirds of the nail, making sure that's softened a little bit at the back so it avoids any harsh blend and you shouldn't see any lines underneath your nude once you begin to apply that. So here I am laying a bead directly over the blend. It's been pretty well drained. Um, and then I'm going to be feathering that up the nail towards the tip, just so you get a nice soft blend there. Next you'll want to add your cuticle bead. I tend to do this in two separate beads because I find it makes my blend a little bit softer. I'll just place that in the cuticle, tuck it right into the cuticle there and then blend it up, to, up the nail towards the tip. Again, using the same principle here, applying a small bead to cover the blend and blending it up the nail towards the tip. I'm using a slightly drier bead for my second bead on this nail, just again, because it's at the cuticle, I don't want to flood my cuticle at all. Also, probably worth noting here that I am actually right-handed and this is my uh, right hand that I'm working on so I'm working with my non-dominant hand so if anybody wants any tips on how I do that and how I make that a bit easier for myself pop a comment below and I'll be happy to film one for you so next I apply, apply my clear acrylic I'm placing a bead tucking it into the cuticle rehydrating the acrylic in front of the bead so it sticks well and then I'm feathering that gently down the, the bead I want to keep a little bit of structure in that so I've got the strength because that will also help create my apex So the next bead is going to be another bead of clear acrylic that I'm going to place at the end of the nail just to create that strength and just make sure my full structure is there in place. And as you can see, just feathering that down the nail. Make sure you do hang on to the end because we've popped a picture in at the end there just so you can see the final look.
again just capping that little finger just to make sure that blends nice and safe and as i've said before if you did like if you have liked what you've seen today please do make sure you hit the like and subscribe button as well as the notification bell just to make sure you don't miss any future tutorials and please if there's anything that you're particularly interested in pop it in the comments i'd love to hear what you've got what your thoughts are and what you would like to see from me So I've put in some of the finish filing. I'm using a metal filing board here. It's an absolute game changer. It just really helps with those crisp side walls. So here you'll see I'm holding the file at a 90 degree angle just to make sure I get that full, very crisp shape. And I'm using the e-file to help seal the cuticle and create a nice flush shape. So here I'm just using the barrel of my e-file just to smooth that out, make sure there's no marks in it and there's not too much bulk and get that really nice strong apex in place. Again, sealing the cuticles again using the e-file. And on to the top coat, probably one of my favourite parts of the service. You'll have to let me know in the comments what your favourite part is. So I'm just top coating here using the Kirsty Meekin top coat and her lamp. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video today. As I say, please make sure you like and subscribe for more. Thank you.